Meghan Markle is said to be more popular now than her husband Prince Harry because of her recent lack of presence in the news. The Duchess of Sussex has been quiet since she announced her 40 by 40 birthday initiative on August 4. The last statement she and the Duke of York shared was in response to the crisis that happened in Afghanistan after the Taliban forces took over the country. Since then, it has mostly been Prince Harry grabbing the spotlight because of his public appearances. He was recently ridiculed for taking a private jet back home to California from Aspen. Colorado after he joined a polo match benefiting his co-founded Centibale charity. He was called a hypocrite for going against his lectures on climate change. The Duke of Sussex also recently made an appearance at the GQ Awards via video message. He also made the trip back home in July for the unveiling of Princess Diana's statue. Suffice to say, he was featured in the press more than his wife. Royal commentators noticed that because of these, Meghan Markle has become more popular than Prince Harry. Royally Us podcast hosts Molly Mulshine and Christina Garibaldi acknowledged that the couple lost some support among the young people in the UK but they pointed out that the 36-year-old royal's approval ratings had suffered worse than his wife. It was interesting to me that Meghan's approval rating was actually a little bit higher than Harry's, Garibaldi said to which Mulshine shared, I wonder if it's because he has really been the more vocal one in the last few months. We have barely heard from her, Meghan, only her birthday initiative, which I think is really smart because as we've been saying, People have unfairly blamed her for them leaving when there is no evidence to suggest that she was the reason why they left, she continued. So it makes sense that now she's like okay, I'm just going to make sure that everyone knows that I'm not the one who was spearheading all of this, Mulshine added to which Gribaldi agreed and said that the Duchess of Sussex is totally taking a backseat now. Meghan Markle is said to be keeping a low profile now because she is focusing her attention on taking care of her children with Prince Harry. She recently gave birth to Archie's sister Lilibet Diana on June 4. Besides, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's interview with Oprah Winfrey was sensationally booed by the audience at the National TV Awards on Thursday night. The Duke of Sussex, aged 36, and Meghan, aged 40, were booed by those in attendance as a clip of their blockbuster interview was broadcast. The booing came after Sir Trevor MacDonald introduced the series of clips on stage. The event, in London, saw Meghan and Harry unable to attend. But their bombshell interview, which featured a string of extraordinary claims, was in the running for a gong. The NTAs was broadcast from 7.30 p.m. on ITV1 and also on the ITV Hub on Thursday night, taking place at the O2 Arena in the capital. Harry and Meghan stayed home in Los Angeles, in California, where they moved following the contentious Megxit process last year. The Sussexes first moved to Canada before finding home in the States, where they live with their two children. Meghan gave birth earlier this year welcoming her first baby girl, daughter Lilibet Diana. Among the extraordinary claims given in the Oprah interview were allegations of concerns within the royal family about baby Archie's skin color. Harry also branded his father Prince Charles, Prince of Wales, trapped in the system of the firm, and made the same claim about his brother William, the Duke of Cambridge, aged 40. Meghan, meanwhile, suggested she felt suicidal, and received no help from the establishment. The interview was broadcast back in March and watched by over 10 million viewers.